this is going to be a guide for those of you who don't know how to use the Hell Hades optimizer yet. I'm uh, sorry, I've got hiccups. I'm in the middle of playing a different game right now, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how to do it. All you have to do is go to the Hell Hades optimizer, or sorry, Hell Hades a website. Hell Hades website. Website. Then you're gonna go to optimizer. Then you're gonna click raid optimizer, and it's gonna take you to this page here. Then you're going to click download extractor. You can install it for the Mac, for the Mac, or you can install it for um, Windows. After you install it, what you're going to do is click the application, open it up. Before you do that, what you want to do is log into your Raid Shadow Legends account. So, you know, just open it up on the PC. And the reason you want to do this first is so that the game can connect to the optimizer or vice versa. And what it's going to do for you is read all your gear, your champions, etc. And this is really helpful for, well, like right now, if you don't know uh, about it, there's a free re-gear of it. So open up the Hell Hades Extractor. It should be on your desktop. It should naturally open up, up on your desktop, and it's going to log you in. Okay, and it's going to look like this. Now, when you see green, that means everything has been established and everything is connected. You're going to click upload to, upload to website and make sure you have an account with hell hades so back on his website there is the option to log in and you can sign up create your account it's it's free but he does have a paid option the paid option uh shows you a lot more in terms of specific builds and setups books masteries all of that so i'm so sorry about the hiccups i, I can't i don't want to wait to do this i want to get this out of the way now so i can get back to my game but, um, yeah, so I, pol I apologize for the hiccup hiccups. So, uh, then you're going to click Upload to Website. All right, and then it takes you here, which is pretty much the same as this page, so we don't need this anymore, we don't need this anymore. We're here. We're logged in. And all of this on the right side, let me close out here. All of this on the left side is going to show up, and you're going to click... Um, well, it depends on what you want to do, right? So let's say... You want to build a specific champion out. Let's go to my my raid real quick. Let's say I want to um, build Samson. All right. Let's say I want to. Well, let's, let's pick somebody else. Let's say I want to build. Um, that would be somebody decent to build out right now. Uh, Bellower, not Bellower. Gala, Gala, no. Who do I have to build? Build. Um, yeah, let's do War Mother. Let's say we want to build out War Mother. Uh, so the first part to building a champion is knowing what you need. Now, War Mother does place debuffs. We do know that she places bombs and she has a decreased attack. We do know that her function is going to be that of a damage, damage dealer. And so if you don't know bombs, the way bombs work, they uh, scale off of attack. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But what we want to do is, you know, with that in head, with that in our mu with our mind, we're gonna want to go to the Hell Hades optimizer. Click. Oh wait, we're already here. Go to champions, and then we're gonna type type in War Mother. All right. So we clicked War Mother, and there's different things you can do here, right? So you can start out by looking at the stats, the total stats that you have right now. You can go to skills if you want to see your book level, whatever, what kind of. Uh, multipliers that they have here it's pretty in-depth masteries if you have masteries but what you're going to want to do is move myself over here over here right here if you don't have them maxed out already what you can do is click this and this will treat war mother and the future build the potential the potential build that you're going to have here on the website as if she was maxed out fully ascended to maxed out i think click optimize and now this section right here, it depends on what you have for your GPU. Now, if you have an NVIDIA, uh, I have a 4090, but if you don't have it, you could you could use uh, this. But if you have a GPU that can handle it, go ahead and use this. There's different modes you can pick. There's the balance mode, which is what I think normally I would go for. And you would choose this if you want to set the priorities yourself. It says stat priorities right here. Now, if you know that you're going to be looking for a damage build, you can prime 
the optimizer to look for builds that would optimize the highest amounts of damage. So you can click damage build. And if you want to specify a skill that you want to focus on using, in this case, it would probably be her A2, which places the bombs. Then I would prime the Hell Hades optimizer to utilize um, builds that would uh, accentuate her A2 skill. But if you don't want to do that, you can go over to survival mode. Let's say you have somebody like... Um, here. Let's say you, you have Godseeker and Neri and you really want her to be extremely tanky and survive. What you would be looking for is a build that would help her survive. The highest EHP possible. The highest effective HP possible. So what is the difference between HP and effective HP? It really has to do, um, and I guess you would kind of understand it more in the context of Sand Devil. So when you're looking at healing your champion, like let's so, let me try to explain this as best as I can, but I probably won't articulate. The, oh, but what am I doing in the camera? I probably won't be able to articulate this as fluently as somebody like Saf can. But when it comes to healing, for an example with Regen and Immortal, your total HP that you're going to heal off of, this 18%, is going to be based off of your total HP here. So the, the total amount that you heal from, I'll restate it again, the total amount of HP that you are healing from with this set is balanced against 84,000 HP. But if you go up against the Sand Devil or somebody who reduces enemy max HP, or just in this case, Godseeker and Eerie's HP, her max effective HP is going to reflect upon the healing. So I'll break it down in simple terms, right? Let's say I have 10,000 HP and I'm healing by like uh, 10,000, or let's say, let's say I've got a 10,000 HP and I'm healing like 1,000 HP because of this, of, of, of a healing set. It doesn't have to be specifically 18%. Uh, just, just walk with me on this walk here, okay? You have 10,000 HP. When you're at full health and your max HP isn't destroyed, you're healing at 1,000 HP per turn that Godseeker takes. But if you go up against the Sand Devil, let's say the Sand Devil reduces Godseeker and Eerie's HP, her max HP by like 1,000. Well, now you're not going to be healing by, um, by 1,000 points of HP because your HP was reduced from something like 10,000 to 9,000. You are now going to be healing by let's say 900 instead of a thousand and so that's where effective max hp comes into play and why it's so important if you're looking for this kind of build for something for something like a uh, god seeker neri or like duchess for an example you want to have the highest e uh, effective max hp possible so that you can survive and do you know whatever it is if you're doing ice golem with artak or you know sand devil so for this specific um you know guide that i'm going to be doing for you here we're going to be going with balance mode and there's the presets here. You can save presets if you want to save presets. I don't use this. Configure. Now, there's, there's two things that you can look for here, right? If you want to include artifacts that are equipped on other people, let's say I have gear that's on Ugo and I want to be able to use that gear, assuming that the champion isn't locked, all right, so there's a lock function here. If your champions are locked, that means the optimizer isn't going to read it. But if it is unlocked, then the optimizer is going to read the gear that is on Ugo. If you don't want to take gear off of anybody and you just want to use the gear that is unequipped sitting right here, then what you would do is click this off right here to not include equipped artifacts. But if you're really struggling, let's say I want to build out Rodos, I want to make him as strong as I possibly can to make him even stronger than he was yesterday, then I would unlock everybody and I would include equipped artifacts. Now, the minimum artifact level is set at 8. I usually drop it all the way down to 0, but you don't have to. The reason I drop it all the way down to 0 is so that the optimizer, if it's scraping the, bottle of the, uh, the bottom of the barrel, it'll use uh, gear that's unrolled. It's not the best way to do it because that could change a lot of things. Like, let's say you have uh, boots and it's got no rolls on it, but it has, like, speed... Uh, crit rate accuracy well if you put that on a champion and you roll it after you equip it or you roll it after the optimizer has run through war mother <laughs> no diddy um then 
you will probably mess up the build that you're looking for because let's say you're over crit let's say you become over crit or you have too much speed for a speed tune that you're looking for because you, you rolled the gear up after the optimizer rolled it up then that becomes an issue so just keep that in mind i'm just letting you guys know uh, mistakes that i've made for this we're just going to not include any equipped artifacts we're going to be going in raw anything that's just left on the side not equipped on any champions that's what we're going to be doing here battle i don't really mess with stats this is what i would mess with right so with war mother we want to have high attack now if you want to you can put down minimums right here so let's say i want a minimum of 5000 attack well then i'm going to put 5000 attack and the optimizer is only going to give me builds based off of um a 5000 attack build if you want a specific amount of speed let's say i want 200 speed then it's going to go along with that too if you want a specific amount of defense, some accuracy, let's say we want 250 accuracy, we're going to put that in too. But let's say, actually, let's go ahead and run with this. Now, the slots here, um, if you want specific things here, that's where you would do this here, right? So let's say for the chest, I want to have a specific uh, attack percent chest only, then I would unclick everything else, and I would only have an attack percent chest here. This is the only thing that's clicked on, so the optimizer is only going to be looking for things with attack percent chest, but we're not going to be doing that right now. We're not going to be doing that, so let's go ahead and put everything back. Sets. Here is where you can add sets. If you want to add a specific set, let's say, hey, I want I want a war, mother, a war mother in accuracy. I want her in one set of accuracy. I want her in two sets of accuracy. No, I want her to wear accuracy all the way up, bro. I want her in three sets of accuracy. That's where you would do that. You would do that right here. And if you want to mix and match sets, you can do that too. I'm not going to bother with sets. I'm going to go with stats here for this for this guide here. And then we're going to click. So again, these are the stats that we have right now with gear unchecked, not included with anything. Then we're going to go ahead and go down to optimize right here. Click it. Click start. And, oh, that's the other thing. If you're going into the Hell Hades Optimizer like this, balanced mode, you have to set a stat priority. If you don't set a stat priority, at least one, you're not going to be able to do anything. Now, if you set damage mode or if you set survival mode, then you don't need to have a stat priority. You can just set mins and maxes. But for here, um, we're, we're going to be having to set priorities. Oh, the other thing is this is the max right here. So let's say, hey... I don't want War Mother to go faster than 220 speed. Then you would put that here, but you can't set a priority for that. So for War Mother, we're going to go ahead and place the priority on attack. Then we're going to place, um, we're going to press start. And then when something pops up, we're going to see it here. Okay. View as a list. Now, for War for War Mother, we are able to find a build that gives us 7.5k attack. 205 speed but she's basically a glass cannon she's not gonna live if she's hit by anything uh, a wet noodle can hit her and it's over and these are all the stats here there's different stats that you're gonna see from the top to the bottom and i think it's like the first 10. now the top one here i think is what is going to be the best build in terms of uh damage or balance depending on what it is that you're looking for but the top one i think is what the best is now you can click view you can see the gear that is in this build and all you would have to do after finding this is go over to uh, war mother and you would look for the specific pieces of gear right here yep and you would just put this on here and add it here i'm pretty sure there might be a different way to do it like I, I've, I've seen this equip in the uh, in the optimizer quite a bit but yeah so if you wanted to build war mother like that then you could but well let, let's say let's say i don't want to use this quadruple roll attack percentage helmet well i could go find a different piece right i could find um this or i could try to find a different build but they all look like they are going to incorporate that helmet well let's say i don't want this weapon this regeneration weapon i want to save for somebody else you could just equip it to somebody else hit live refresh and then the optimizer isn't going to use it you could do that if you really wanted to but let's say i want to find a different one a different uh weapon then i would just go pick a different build you find the build that works for you whichever build uh you want to use 
Now, um, okay, on to the next section. If we're looking for specific teams, we come here to the Team Optimizer. And in the Team Optimizer, we're going to click Dungeon. You can find whichever dungeon here that you want to mess with. Let's say we want to find a spider team. And we want to tackle hard. And we want to tackle hard 10. All right? All we have to do is set those in. And then we're going to click find... By the way, the cool thing here is that the, the stats are here. So... The optimizer now is going to look at all the champions that you have and then give you a list of champions based on the champions that you have that are logged in to the Hell Hades optimizer, other teams that other people have build, built. You can click around. If you want 100% sex, uh, success rate, you can click it here. If you want to make sure that it's a consistent run, a consistent 100% rate, you can click number of victories and raise that all the way up to like 67 if you want and then click apply filter but as you saw it was already giving us a bunch of different builds all right so here you want to make sure that whatever it is that you're going to click has a total amount of battles here uh showcasing that it is a hundred percent so let's say okay i see this build here i see this uh team here with husk and teodor and drang and artak and nut you click variations then you're going to see the different variations that other people have logged in the different kinds of teams that are here and now the team is going to show up here well now you have to pretty much um, set up all of the champions in this section down here so let's set up nut we're going to click damage mode just say that and then you got to click configure and it's the same thing that i just showed you guys if you want to use equipped artifacts you can set it up here if you don't you click it off buffs doesn't matter stats this does matter, so you're going to want to set the specific stats that you want. You could click, you know, you could just copy this team here, the the, the exact stats, and put it here for the minimums, and then uh, run with that. And then for slots, it, you know, same thing I showed you guys here. Sets, if you want a specific set, then you can do that here. Uh, glyphs, I don't really mess with. And you're going to do that for the same... Um, uh, you're going to do the same thing for all the other champions here, and just go all the way down here, and then you're going to click Optimize. Um, then when you click optim, you know what, I probably have to actually, uh, do something so that you guys can see a, a good example here. Alright, so let's say the, the stats are here, click apply, apply that, uh, go to Drang. We're going to not include, and then click, uh, apply all that stuff. He doesn't need accuracy though. Theodore, same thing, balanced, uh, not including anything then apply some stuff our tech will say survival mode just to do it and not include anything equipped and like that husk same thing but he would be for damage and stats are already there now we're going to click optimize the limiter i don't know uh set one stat priority for theodore oh oh that's right we got to set uh, stat priorities did we set stat priorities for everybody? Oh, just just him. Okay. Now we click optimize, and then uh, it's going to take a few minutes. Maybe it might be even faster, but it's going to start showing you potential builds uh, if there are builds available. So it's saying that according to the parameters that I set for nut, I can't build the specific nut that I want to with the gear that's left over uh, not equipped on anybody but Drang looks like he could uh, you know build we could build something with Drang here Teodor it looks like we can build something with Teodor here Artac we can build something with Artac here Husk we can build something with Husk here and it's the same thing once you go down the list of champions uh, you'll be able to uh, just click and drag equip in the actual game here